Hey there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. By now, you're probably pretty aware of how I feel about physical computing. Bipedal robots, autonomous vehicles, mechanical arms. Ah. Of course, the one thing that all of these have in common is motion. Physical computing, by its very nature, deals with movement, uh, making things move, measuring the movement, sensing changes in movement. Of course, that latter thing doesn't always necessarily apply to just physical computing. It can apply to industrial machinery or structures or even tectonic plates. Now, a simple way to measure that is with an accelerometer or a gyroscope. And a board like the new SparkFun BMI270 Sixtoff IMU Breakout might be just the thing you need to measure that in your next project. And of course, so that you have options, we offer it on either our standard one by one breakout or our tiny micro breakout. These boards utilize the BMI270 from Bosch, a highly integrated low power IMU optimized for wearables providing precise acceleration, angular rate measurement, and intelligent on chip motion triggered interrupt features. It houses a 16 bit three axis accelerometer with plus or minus two, four, eight, and 16 G ranges, alongside a 16 bit three axis gyroscope with plus or minus 125, 250, 500, 1000, and 2000 DPS ranges. There's also a 400 kilohertz aux sensor interface with hardware synchronization with operation at 1.8 or 3.3 volts DC and ultra low current consumption of typically about 685 microamps in full ODR and aliasing free operation. It also offers a handful of smart features such as significant motion, any motion, motion detect, no motion stationary detect, wrist wear wake up, wrist worn step counter, activity change recognition, and wrist gesture recognition. The micro footprint breakout hosts a single quick connector for solderless prototyping, and the standard one by one footprint breakout has a pair of quick connectors along with pinouts for breadboarding. Now, a couple of important things I want to point out about this sensor. The BMI270 requires an 8K configuration file to be written on every power cycle. So a 328P board like an Arduino Uno or the SparkFun Redboard isn't going to have enough space to run the sensor. You're going to need something beefier like um, SparkFun Artemis, a SAMD51, or an ESP32. Which brings me to my second point, board definitions. Now, if you're using, say, an ESP32, you're going to want to make sure SparkFun has its own board definitions, but this is going to look for Espressif's board definitions. So in your Arduino IDE, just make sure you're going from Tools, Board Manager, to the Arduino ESP32 folder and then find your SparkFun ESP32 Thing Plus or the SparkFun Redboard IoT, whichever board you're using. If you're having issues, just check your board files. So I've put together a little demonstration of this. Actually, I really just added this BMI270 to a project that I've used for years, a janky little vibration table. And I want to show you exactly what you can do with it. Now, for much of my life, I've worked in castings and moldings, basically creating a two-part epoxy to make a mold of an object so we could make multiples of that object uh, for a stage, for TV or movies, uh, for sets or props. Now, ideally, you mix your two-part epoxy, you put it in a vacuum chamber that pulls out all the air bubbles so you get a super smooth representation or recreation of what the model you're trying to cast. However, you don't always, or, or at least I have not always, had access to a vacuum chamber. I found the next best thing is a vibration table. You pour your epoxy into its frame, you put it on a vibration table, and the vibration pulls the bubbles to the top, gets rid of it, gives you that smooth surface that you want. Well, until now, I've been guessing. But by adding a BMI 270 onto the table, I can tell exactly what the vibration is and figure out what the Vesprite vibration is going to be for each medium. Uh, some of them are more viscous, some are less viscous. I use food safe ones. There's a... Anyway, you get the idea. Now, I can know exactly the best vibration for each. It'll take some trial and error, but let's take a look at this. You can see how sensitive this thing is. A little tap on the table over here is spiking it on the serial monitor. So I've got it on here. I've got a motor with an uh, offset flywheel. And by changing the speed there, you can see immediately the readings that we're getting on our BMI 270 here. Oh, that's a good looking one. Look at that. But yeah, it's incredibly useful for me in my future for casting molding since, like I said, most of the time, not a vacuum chamber in my home. This is great. This is going to be great. 
so there it is, our latest offering in our vast quick library for sensing angular velocity and acceleration. Uh, technically force, I know. Put your comments below. So head on over to sparkfun.com and pick up your new SparkFun BMI 276 off IMU breakout. And either our standard 1 by 1 footprint or our micro 0.3 by 0.75 footprint. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Physical computing by its very nature, very nature, very nature. Pick up your new spar, your, so close, so close. <laughs> Off IMU breakout. Wait, did I say BMI 270? No, I did not. To measure angular velocity? No. Your new spark fun. So there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done.